Hi, my name is Tony Kovach, and I'm the artist in residence here at Liberty Bellows in Philadelphia. I want to welcome you back to our series of instructional videos for the piano accordion. In our last lesson, we discussed both proper fingering and technique for playing alternating bass on minor and seventh chords. Today, we will combine this with our previous learning about alternating bass on major chords, and we're going to play a song that combines all three, Yankee Doodle Dandy. First, let's review the technique involved with alternating on major chords. You should recall that when we alternate bass on major chords, we use our fourth finger for the fundamental bass, we use our middle finger for the chord, and we use our index finger to play the alternate bass. Because we utilize the index finger to play the minor and seventh chord buttons, we have to utilize a different fingering when we alternate bass on these chords. That's going to be fourth finger on the fundamental bass, index finger on the chord button, and third finger on the alternate bass button. In a nutshell, that means that when you switch from a major to a minor or seventh chord, you have to switch the fingering that you're using for alternate bass. Let's try a short exercise to get that under our fingers. Our exercise will start with two measures of F major, then we'll do two measures of G7, two measures of C, and then we return to F major. So that'll sound like this, F major, G7, C major, F major. Let's try playing that a few times. Repeat. All of this will come in handy in our song of the day, Yankee Doodle Dandy. So today we're back in a familiar key, and that's F major. In F major, there's one flat, B flat. Let's quickly review the F major scale. You're going to play one, two, three, four with your fourth finger on the B flat, and then shift up. So the whole scale will look like this. So remember, anytime we play a B today, it will be a B flat. Most of the first phrase can be played in this position with your thumb on D and your pinky on A. The next part of the phrase involves a little bit of a reach as I'm gonna reach my third finger down to the E. So the full first phrase looks like this. For the next phrase of the song, you're going to want to start with your fourth finger on A. Also, you'll notice that there's an F sharp in this phrase, which is not one of the notes in the key, but it adds some nice color to the phrase. Notice that I reached my pinky up to the C at one point. For the next part, you're going to stay in the same position, and this is going to involve a crossover where your second finger will go down to the D. So your second finger crosses over, and then you come back up. So that looks like this. So the whole second phrase sounds like this. So here's our song so far. Shift up. Here 
Here comes the crossover. The third phrase is identical to the first phrase. The next fragment of the song is a note for note quote of the song Yankee Doodle. You're going to start with your second finger on F. And the last part of the song starts with your second finger on D. So the last phrase of the song sounds like this, with your second finger on F. The entire melody sounds like this. So you remember our warm-up? That's the chord progression for the first phrase of the song. That's F, G7, C7, F. In the second phrase, we're also going to play just four different chords, and each time the chord is played for two measures. You're going to play two measures of D7, then two measures of G minor, then stay on that row because you're going to play two measures of G7, and then two measures of C7. So again, that's D7, G minor, G7, C7. You probably noticed that there's a pretty big leap between F major and D7. So you might want to practice going back and forth between those two. Just like in the right hand, the third phrase is identical to the first phrase. So we're going to play that same pattern again. F, G7, C7, F. When we play the Yankee Doodle quote, we're simply going to play one chord chunk at the beginning of each measure, just like this. And that final phrase is just G7, C7, and F. So the final phrase of the song sounds like this. Join us for our next lesson where we experiment with altering major melodies to sound minor or Dorian. Thanks for watching.